Well, today the University of Arizona announced safety measures they could be taking after the tragic shooting of Dr. Thomas Meixner on campus last October. Nine on your side's Andrew Christensen was at a press conference the university held earlier today to hear about how they're hoping to prevent a shooting from happening on campus ever again. This right here is the building where Dr. Thomas Meixner was shot about six months ago, and as you can tell, they still have his picture up as well as some candles and some pins from his memorial. Now today the university released a report of 33 recommendations from the PAX group. That PAX group reviewed the shooting here on campus and is hoping that the university takes those recommendations into consideration. A university is a place where students should feel safe on campus. I'm angry at myself that I did not do more to prevent this tragedy. Today, University and President Dr. Robert Robbins acknowledging he and the school could have done more to prevent the shooting. We will do better. We will learn from our mistakes and we will unite together. For Robbins, uniting together means considering findings and recommendations from the PACS group. One of the things the group found was that the university did not have a proper threat assessment management team. The PACS group is recommending that President Robbins establish the TAMT with processes and guidelines. They say he should be meeting with the TAMT at least once a year and should improve technology and alert systems in all departments and buildings. As for the university's police department, the PACS group says they should continue active threat threat training and encourage the community to go. They also say they should continue implementing recommendations from prior evaluations. As for UAPD's relationship with local police departments, they say they should meet regularly. And as for the relationship with people on campus, they say they should establish a program that would engage the campus with UAPD. Once all the recommendations have been implemented, will be even safer. But safety can be subjective. The university did ban the shooter from campus before the shooting. Robin says to prevent that from happening again, they have pictures and names of people on the UAPD's website. We do a, a fairly good job of identifying who those people are and and then uh, either arrest them or uh, ask them to leave the campus when they've been banned. Reporting at the University of Arizona, Andrew Christensen, KGA 9 on your side.